What's going on guys? It's your boy Joe from Helix with here with Jason, Nate, Ethan, and Pierce and we're bringing you guys a Vanguard gameplay on Hotel Royale MP40, best gun in the game so far. How do you guys feel about the beta? Let me hear some of your opinions and thoughts so far. Uh, well, like you said, MP40 is definitely the best gun in the game, in my opinion. I I personally can only really use MP40, and pretty much the STG was the only AR I was using. Um, I mean, I've been told that the guns are pretty balanced, but I personally really think that the MP40 is just, like, overtaking the whole... Especially these, you know, smaller playing maps, like Hotel, uh, like Nason right now. I really just think that it's going to take over the SMG game and end up being the meta in multiplayer and maybe even Warzone once Warzone hits. Yeah, I really like that take. I agree with you. I really like the MP40. And like you said, um, I don't see super uh, balance between the guns. I know there are obviously some that are clearly better than others. As you see, the MP40 and the STG right now are definitely two of the better guns. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But I know that, um, you know, there's another, there's a couple of the SMGs, and I know the bar is another gun that a lot of people would like using right now. Um, and it I know wasn't actually banned from competitive the bar? Yeah, so the bar was banned from competitive Call of Duty. So when we're looking at the competitive side of things for this year, um, I mean, your projected meta this year is definitely going to be the SMG is going to be the MP40, and your ADR is definitely going to be the SMG or the STG. Um, the bar was banned, so other than the STG, I don't think there's very other viable options, uh, many other viable right. options for the AR slot. Um, when you look at streaks for the professional side of things, uh, I think we're going to be looking at like a glide bomb, maybe a mortar strike. Definitely a glide bomb, yeah. but a mortar strike <laughs> or maybe even a war machine. Um, uh, and when we're looking at field upgrades, Dead Silence is the only one that hasn't been banned right now in the CDL rule set. Um, perks, uh, for perk 1 you're looking at um, fortified or survival training. Perk 2 is, gonna, is locked in at radar and perk 3 is going to be locked in at double time. Um, so I feel like there's not too much uh, moving around you can do. The only one that has more than one available and unbanned right now is a perk one. You're looking in between fortified and survival training. Um, so I feel like it's going to be really interesting to see kind of uh, how it all plays out. I'm interested to see how the 10 attachments kind of files into uh, the casual and competitive side of things. Um, especially with the new game mode patrol. Um, similar to hard point, first to 250 points. It's a constantly rotating hill. Um, you obviously, like hard point, get time for sitting in the hill as it moves around the map. Um, whatever team has the most score by the time the time either runs out or by the time one team hits 250, that's the uh, winning team. Um, I'm interested to see if that could make an appearance as the third game mode in um, competitive. Uh, it's doubtful only because hard point is a competitive game mode. So unless there's wiggle room with that. I don't see them doing two similar game modes in the competitive side of things. I think with competitive, there's a lot of room for it to change. Obviously, this is like beta. We have a very limited amount of perks and full weapon sets available to us, even like meta builds of weapons. We could see something like the Volk with a different kind of magazine be better than the STG. We really don't know where things could be at until we have the full amount of attachments, the full amount of weapons available to us. But I think like, like everybody said so far, with the way the TTK is set up in this game, the rate of fire and the, the, the damage range on the MP40 and the STG, nothing legitimately competes with them. If you hit all your shots, you, you aim down your sight first, you're not gonna lose with those weapons, which I personally feel like that's a problem within the game. The TTK and the sprint to fire time is just like really, really off. It, 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 the sprint to fire time being so low um, enforces yeah. people sitting in one spot, aiming down their sight. And then with weapons like the MP40 and the SCG where you can sit, aim down your sight across the map and laser somebody in legitimately three bullets if you're hitting your shots, which most of us nice. that play this game like this are going to be on that type of energy. It spells disaster for regular 6v6 being solid. Yeah, um, and also comp and competitive too. For sure. For yeah, I definitely, yeah. Yeah. Boring gameplay. I definitely agree with that. I feel like it definitely promotes camping a lot, and I feel like that definitely goes against a lot of the competitive style of gameplay. Mm -hmm. Especially, Especially with kill streaks. Exactly. Like, you yeah. like kill streaks, but they, that promotes camping at the end of the day. I love getting my dogs. I love getting my. <laughs> when you're one off the dogs and you're sitting there in the corner, exactly. You to, to go and like that, that takes it. That's a whole different kind of a skill set. And if you like that Call of Duty, you like that Call of Duty. I right. personally 
don't necessarily care for the kill streak kind of thing because it promotes that really can't be placed out. And I'm a mm -hmm. running gun kind of player. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree with what you're saying. And yeah, I think, uh, you know, it takes away a lot of what the community was asking for uh, coming mm -hmm. off of Modern Warfare and Cold War. Everybody was complaining about the camping. And now here we are with another mm -hmm. very camping based Call of Duty. Uh, it's looking so far. And I know that there's been a lot of issues within the community so far um, on the beta. Like you said, the camping has been talked about a lot. Um, the, the ADS time is a very, very big issue with the community. I know on TikTok, everybody's talking about that. And then um, so I know, yeah. adding on to what you're saying, I was going to say, if, uh, there's been a lot of like audio and graphical issues. Yeah. Yeah, just watching this gameplay, when you start getting shot at by a death machine or somebody has FMJ on their gun, goodbye. Just drop your controller yeah. down. It's like getting stunned or flashbang. It's, it's you know, insanely uh, overpowered. I know personally on um, Red Star, I had a problem where um, it was all, the vi there was a visual glitch where it was like all black, like people running at you with like a black blob. It's kind of yeah. weird. I know a lot of people have like, you know, you guys are saying like the pixel issues and yeah. Yeah. Know, some of it, really yeah. some of it kind of reminds me of how, uh, I know there was a lot of problems when people started playing Warzone on PC where there would be like, um, like, sh like sharp, like objects and stuff like around their guns and stuff when they're in yeah. the gulag and stuff like that. And they couldn't see their gun that they were using and stuff. I know there's been a lot of problems with that in the beta. Obviously, I don't think it's anything that they can't fix, you know, before the game comes out in November. Um, but, uh, I mean, overall, I really liked it. Um, I'm hoping that they obviously fix everything that, that is, uh, yeah. needed to be fixed. Like we said, there's a lot of, like, audio issues in terms of, like, hearing footsteps and stuff like that. I know that's been a huge problem. A lot of talk in the community is wanting to, like, get that stuff fixed. Um, and I'm hoping just, like, for, you know, a good, a good yeah. set of maps is, uh, this game. I know Cold War was kind of, um... Like upsetting with the games that they uh with the um maps that they had put out um so i'm really hoping that with this game they're going to be able to put some like good maps in and hopefully not have to recycle as many old maps um to try like to make the, the game the good map, i feel like the map problem or the map issue is going to be it, it's like a double-edged sword like, i agree i feel like the maps in mw were really really solid we we really don't know because the ttk was so unforgiving in that game that all the maps played super slow and can I feel like the map design and already a hotel route great map eagles nest great map not mm. so much for 6v6 you need like an 8v8 on these are a little yeah. bit bigger i feel like they play exactly. much better with the 8v8 and then everybody's talking about the blitz anyway i'm getting off topic right so the map design thing comes down to the gameplay needing you need to have a forgiving ttk so people want to move around the map and use your sidelines and use these flanking routes it, it's so unforgiving right now if somebody's mounted up on a corner they got first look at you you're dead you don't have any chance to react the ttk mm. is sub 300 milliseconds mm. the average human reaction time is 250 milliseconds you, ha you don't have any chance to, to really turn on or shoot anybody and that mm. that removes a whole other aspect of games how, how how many times have you seen a competitive 360 on somebody and the whole crowd goes insane he just got turned on oh my god everybody goes nuts because you can uh -huh. turn on somebody that doesn't happen anymore in this yeah. game. it's not all well, not as yeah. likely because you're just getting deleted instantaneously yeah. it removes a lot of the fun competitive movement you know moving mm. around the map having map knowledge no more covers that it gets rid of all that because you yeah. just need it it with, the, with the yeah. with, with the like introduction to like the 14v14 the 10v10 on small maps like this it kind of gives me like a shipment vibe because obviously yeah, you're not going to have good like spawns shipment. exactly you're mm -hmm. not going to have good spawns it's going to be very hectic in the center of the map um it's really hard especially if you're like a new player trying to get in i feel like that would be a very not enjoyable time especially when you have people like you know yeah. with two kds plus you know running uh Absolutely. you know through the middle with the mp40 it. like nate is right now yeah. uh dropping yeah, 90 done. kills on your face especially um, large large filling lobbies when it's 32 v 32 or 24 v 24 16 v 16 sbmm starts getting See, exactly and not really hitting that which is yeah. good and bad and then like you said with the spawning system unfortunately this game took the spawning system from mw which is a squad based spawn system which is very very trash that's where mm -hmm. you end up in situations where you spawn near a teammate and they're getting beamed by an enemy and then you get beamed and then they get a quick two piece mm -hmm. and then you know they're on their uav or they got their counter which the counters are super o op in this game yeah, yeah but the spawns compacted with super low ttk really just sets the game up for a bad time no matter how well the maps are designed it really is a is a is a, a bad thing yeah i never once enjoyed myself 
playing in uh, like a 24v24. It was just too much, especially when like yeah. a TDM game mode, you're just getting spawn trapped the whole game because yeah. you can't yeah. flip spawns whatsoever. Because yeah. you're always spawning yeah. on your teammate, which is can't get out of their spawn. So how are you going to flip? Exactly. Spawns, no, there's no side flipping of the spawn. You spawn where your teammates at. And you can't flip spawns. Yeah, spawn going, going off that, I'd really like to see how it, uh, how some of these like beta maps, even the, you know, the four that we were uh, previously introduced to, I really hope to see how they look um, slowed down and kind of that 4v4 setting for competitive um, see like what which maps they actually decide to choose for the competitive scene um, and just kind of see how the game slows down on some of these maps because I know a lot of the we were kind of thrown into a really fast paced beta um, with a lot of fast paced game modes a lot of fast paced like smaller maps I feel like well, thanks for watching, guys. Let us know in the comments below uh, what you thought about the gameplay, what your thoughts are on the overall Vanguard beta. Uh, let us know what you, you want to see in the future. We have a few more gameplays, I think, on stack, so we'll have a few of those uh, coming soon for you, some more Vanguard gameplay. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>